Hi Capricorn, this is your November forecast 2020. If you'd like a private reading with me or hypnosis to facilitate permanent change, do use the link below. Look, it looks like we've been procrastinating about how we're going to move forward and we're not. Un uh, we're a bit unsure about which way that's going to be uh, because there is a thought and it's put into place. We haven't decided which way we're going to get yet. Uh, there's this competition around to be able to get that, uh, but it's our, our ambition and our groups around that for our money and our partnerships and unions. Uh, there is the idea of what I will and will not sell out for, what I will and will not uh, cross that line for. We're also looking that there is actually going to be a happy um, you know, end to the story. Um, and and, and uh, with this emotional insecurity as well, feeling good about that decision and being able to commit and move forward. When it comes to your home, we do have the uh, three of swords. This is missing someone. This is feeling like you're not getting support from those around you. This is about um, feeling uh, sad and uh, having those around you being able to give you that love that you need. For some of you, this is about two against one. Uh, if you live with your partner, this is feeling betrayed. This is feeling hurt, feeling unheard uh, and, and, you know, not communicating communicating with you and keeping you in the dark. When it comes to your health, there is going to be some good news at the end of it. It almost looks like there is a sudden change to what that calendar looked like. So appointment is changed and brought forward uh, because this is a happy change, especially to do with flow because this is about rain uh, and then you know a stormy time, a rainy time, a rocky time, and then good news, something to celebrate, a smoother road and some positivity at the end of it. Now, when we're looking at our career study and finance, it looks like our groups and our friends are there to support us, but it also looks like there can be some issue where there is a, uh, a you know a, a side to stick to. The Ace of Swords is a new uh, title or a new position or a new role uh, or sharing a role with somebody else, and you're undecided which way you're going to see. This is also about putting those ideas into action for you to be able to push forward and to get those gains because we're taking action in the truth of the details that we have now in front of us, and that's going to be a gain for us at the end of the day. At home, uh, I'll pull out one more card because we're feeling hurt, we're feeling grief, we're feeling um, heart and emotional sadness. Um, you know, with our love, we have the chariot card, major arcana card. You know, where there has been some stall, where there has been some indecision, it looks like we're committing and we're able to move forward now because what the issue was was unclear. You can see what it looks like now. You can see what the future is going to look, and we are going to be able to communicate and commit to that. Uh, anywhere that we're moving forward in our life with our health, um, you know, or with our career, uh, it looks like that the decision there, talk to your friends. We're, we're moving steps forward. We're concluding what, what had to be done for us to be move, able to move forward with our career. We're nearly at the end of that cycle. But those groups, the friends, those are there to be able to support you. Don't forget to watch your sun, moon, and rising because these cards came out before for somebody else. Um, and so you'll get more information and detail into the specifics of what it is that you're looking for. The 10th house of your health is your knees, your bones, your skin, and your teeth. Um so, you know, really good results there. And I feel like also unexpected. Yeah, so, you know, it's really, really good news. So, uh, all feeling better. Um, so if this is worry, if this is um, heart pain, uh, sadness, grief, there's actually really something wonderful around this at the end of that. So, drawing virtue messages from the angels, Capricorn is... There's a bit of insecurity here as well, so biting that bullet, posh, um, you know, acknowledging insecurity and letting it go, you're going to get those desired results. Don't be afraid. This guy jumped out. Okay, so there's physical healing here. So if it's been there for a while, um, you know, the, the, we are at the end of the road here. Mystique is miracle solutions appear, and Archangel Gabriel is the queen of communication, small education, thinking, creativity, putting those ideas into action, especially when it comes to your career study and finance. And also when it comes to our insecurities, this is a mindset issue, something that needs to be let go of. And don't forget, there's the 30th of November is the eclipse. So there are going to be emotions coming up uh, with that. You are the opposite of the cancer sign. So there is going to be some conflict on head and heart uh, emotions and the pressure that is building there uh, with that. So be kind to you and those you love. And from Jedi side, Jake, may the force be with you.